Nancy O'Connor. I'm a hand weaver and I design and weave scarves and shawls in my mountainside studio in Ashville, New Hampshire. I've been a juried member of the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen for 40 plus years. I started weaving about 44 years ago when I bought a popsicle backstrap loom at the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen's Fair and I've been weaving ever since. The League of New Hampshire Craftsmen has been a, played a very important part in my weaving career. It's been an inspiration to be in, in an organization of such limitless um, creativity, a high standard of craftsmanship and professionalism in the world of fine craft. The weaving that I do is usually with very intricate patterns. Um, I use eight harness loom and I work a lot with bamboo, which is a very renewable fiber. Um, it, it, it lends itself well to doing patterns and has a, a feel almost like silk, but also has a lovely sheen and a gorgeous drape when it's woven up into shawls or scarves. Um, the inspiration for the color ways that I put into my weaving comes from nature. I live in the woods and I do a lot of hiking, so all the colors that you see in nature are, are reflected in my work. I design my pieces using actually a computer um, with a program for weaving. I used to do it all on graph paper, which would take hours and hours. Uh, using a computer eliminates a lot of hours so I can spend more time weaving. Oh, weaving is a, a, a lifetime of weaving. I mean, there's so many techniques that I've never even attempted in 44 years. Um, I just did some uh, rag weaving with um, table runners in a rep weave, which I had never done. I had to sit down with a book and teach myself how to do rep weave. And I sat down and then I, once I understood the, how you thread and how it works, I sat down with my computer and designed a pattern and, and did some table runners for the farmer's markets. And um, so I'm still learning 44 years and it's still got a lot to offer. <laughs>